I forgot how to do my intro. It's a bit embarrassing. Um, hello, hi, howdy. My name is Nico. I like narwhals, and welcome back or welcome to my channel if you are new here. Um, I remembered it eventually. <laughs> um, hi. So today I thought I would do a bit of a low-key sort of chillax video. I'm quite tired. I'm quite sleepy. It's one of those days where it's lovely outside, but I'm a bit down tired I can't quite tell what's going on with me I didn't have a very nice day yesterday so I thought I would combat those not so nice feelings and do a bit of a draw of me um, around me <laughs> that you guys can see um, are some art supplies these are ones that I've got recently um, whether they've been sent to me by brands or I've gotten in art boxes or I bought online on impulse um, and I thought it'd be really fun to try play around with them and make a beautiful spread with them so if you're cool with that if you're down with that please sit down get a cup of coffee get a cup of tea get your own sketchbook out draw along with me and yeah let's just jump right into it I actually don't know what I want to draw today um my last few spreads have kind of been quite chipping focused so I might continue that theme um but I do want to draw some fan art so I think what I might do for a bit of a lull <laughs> a bit of a lull I'm so old um I'm gonna just have a little look at my Instagram and see what people have suggested I did ask earlier for suggestions um because I'm very indecisive um oh we've got loads um We've got Newt from the Maze Runner, we have I Ira from Assemble Stars, Fleabag and the Priest, Sally Face Angst, oh we've got loads. Um, hmm, I like the idea of Maze Runner, I don't think I've ever drawn Maze Runner fan art, so let's look at this. Me Maze Runner Newt, I n I've seen the first movie but I never watched um, the other ones. There we go. Oh he's a cutie, okay let's draw him, this is Newt. Um, he's played by Thomas something something something. Um, I do know he voices Ferb, that's what I know about him. So let's have a little doodle of him. I'm very excited. So let's do it. Um, ooh, <laughs> I've, I've lost it. How have I done that? Um, there we go. Sorry about that. <laughs> We're back. I'm trying to find like a really good reference of him. Do, 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 do. Oh, look at that fan art. That's so cool. I do kind of like that pose. I kind of, I like the idea of this sort of standing pose, but also of that slight lean. I think that's so cool. Um, so let's actually use this as a reference and go from there. Hello, it's me, Nico from the edit here. Hope you're all doing well. Um, sorry, by the way, for the right that might be hearing my voice. Um, originally I was going to include most of the strange little rambles and stories I went on and on and on about during this video uh, but if I did that this video would be seven hours long and it would most certainly annoy most of you including myself um, because most of the time I was just going um okay this character is really cool <laughs> which is pretty annoying. Um, so, hello, it's me. I'm going to be your friendly summarising Nico during this video. Hope that's okay. Um, but yes, so this video, um, this video, in this spread, you'll see me draw a lot of different characters. Um, these are all suggestions by you lovely, lovely people over on my Instagram story. Uh, I like to do little who should I draw questionnaire sort of things and this was one of those lovely occasions so hope you all like the characters I picked there were so many suggestions it was so hard to pick them I kind of picked on a random sort of which characters do I sort of recognize basis um but yeah this was very fun I'll definitely have to do this again there we go okay cool hello again sorry about that my camera died. Um, welcome back. We have sketched out a mute, which is very cool, very
very exciting. Um, I did change the pose a little bit. Um, originally I was having it with his arm across, but I don't know, I thought that was a little weird. <laughs> so I've changed it around, so he's now putting on his shoe. Don't know why I chose that pose, but oh well. Um, so it's watercolour time, which I'm always really excited about. Um, this is the only sketch I think I'm going to record for this video. Um, the rest of them I'm going to do off camera, and then I'll come back with the colouring process because I think that is way more interesting than watching me sketch and try to figure out what the hell I'm doing because it changes so often. But let's talk about these brushes before I dive into the watercolours um, because first impressions um, look how cool these look um, these are probably some of the fanciest brushes I think I own uh, I do have these brushes um, that I picked up from um, Greece when I was there but they just have a two on them and I'm quite a absent-minded person and this tells me nothing so I'm really excited about these because not only do they have the numbers on them like this weird brush does but it also tells you um, the type of brush it is on the actual barrel um, which connects over to the little card that comes in the pack which thank you thank you so much I'm very dumb I don't know how to use brushes um well I do but I do wing it so having actual like information that correlates is really really cool um I also really like the lilac that's on the bottom of them and this is the lilac set so <laughs> it does make sense for the colour to appear um, but it looks really pretty and I'm really really excited so let's have a little play with these um, I have my little cup of water just off to the side um, I've put it up there away from my tea so I don't accidentally put it in there and then I have my Prang watercolours um, which we'll, we'll be using um, I chose this set to use for mute um, just because <laughs> I want to try them out a bit more. Um, I have used them a little bit as you can see um, but it's always good to sort of break them in a little bit more because I'm still very new to the set and then after that I think we're going to use some handmade watercolours and illustrate the rest of this page using some other brushes and some other sort of inking pens and yeah I'm really excited. So without further ado let's just jump into it. Hello, it's me, your boy, back again. I know, what a shot. <laughs> so, quick heads up, this is going to be the longest tangent that me and my croaky voice are going to go on. Uh, so if that's not your cup of tea, which complete it's okay if it's not fair play i don't judge um feel free to mute this video put on some funky beats of your own and just chill relax enjoy the painting um but if you do like to hear me babble on about random things hello hi howdy welcome so glad to have you um so let's be nerds and talk about brushes um, so these brushes, I think I mentioned it before, uh, were sent to me for free to try out by Artify, which thank you again by the way. Um, this is the first time I've been sent just free stuff to review, um, which is super super cool. Um, I genuinely feel like a proper YouTuber now. I've been sponsored and I've been sent for free stuff. Gosh guys, <laughs> I feel so like um, YouTuber-y. That's not a word. Um, pretend it is. Um, please just amuse me for a second to pretend that I sound really smart. Uh, so, for this video to review, the lovely people at Artify sent me two different brush sets to have a little play with. Um, there's the lovely lilac set, which are my favourite. Um, and then there's the 12 piece assorted nylon set, which are mixed media brushes you can use for any sort of painting. Um, like I said, I definitely liked the lilac ones more, my boys, um, they were great. Um, that was mostly though because I'm a watercolour artist and to do those really big washes, especially when I'm colouring newt here, as you can see, um, I found them really, really nice to work with. They were really responsive with how I was trying to lay down the colour, whereas my usual brushes, which are these cheap weird ones that I have collected over my many years, 
um, they don't really work as well. So to have brushes that really respond to what I want to do is really, really nice. But that's not to say the nylon set was, you know, bad. I did enjoy them. I think just for watercolour though, as I am a watercolour artist, um, specifically the lilacs were just really cool. So yeah, thank you again Artify for sending me those brushes to try out. Um, and if you want to check them out yourself, links in the description. Now, on to my boys, Styles and Scott. <laughs> this was another request. As I mentioned, I think before, hopefully. Um, if I didn't, I do apologise. Um, Styles and Scott from Teen Wolf. Now, I have seen Teen Wolf. Um, I don't remember much of it. All I remember from it mostly is that Derek and Styles have the greatest romance I think I have ever seen on t television. Um, their dynamic is so, so cute. I think it inspired so many different dynamics within my own characters. I love the really snarky impish one and the grumpy the grumpy one. Um it's just a really, really fun dynamic to play around with, especially in the romantic relationship sort of world. Um yeah, very fun. I redo Styles' face like a billion times by the way. I he'll look really uncanny valley for a while and then he'll <laughs> he'll look a bit better um i don't know why i was really struggling to draw these boys um i think it's because i don't know i think it's because i watched the show personally um and i re-watched it quite a few times and a lot of the compilations on youtube <laughs> So I know the characters, I know the sort of vibe they're meant to embody. So it's really important to me as a character artist especially to try capture essence of a character when I'm trying to draw them. So watercolour wise, I am using my lovely, very messy collection of handmade watercolour paints from Honeybee Pigments on Etsy. Again, I will link down below. All the supplies I've used in this video are linked down below. Um, Honeybee Pigments is a very small tea watercolour maker. I was going to say artist. I, I'm pretty sure she is an artist as well. Um, on Etsy she makes watercolours. Um, I'm a huge, 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 huge fan. Um, I love the process of making paint. I have been trying to make my own for a while. Um, so Honeybee Pigments, the best. Lovely, very pigmented paints. Definitely check her out down below. Um, and now it's my Ohuhu markers. I'm still bad at alcohol markers, but we are trying. I love to add extra clips of colour to my pages with Oscars and just various assorted markers. Um, I think it's really, well, it's one of my favourite parts about sketchbooking to sort of make the page its own and have the page sort of have a theme or tell some sort of story through it. Um, I think I'm really inspired by some sort of journaling in that way, um, that sort of scrapbooky aesthetic, aesthetic um, that junk journals have where they're this collection of what's going on just not in the sense of the art but also for you and what you're sort of vibing with in that moment if that makes any sense um yeah now this next piece uh, of illustration i should say is a show that i have never seen before over the garden wall i have heard so many different things about it um people sometimes tell me it's like a gravity falls meets fairy tale meets this sort of very strange peculiar world that's also so charming and inviting and Elijah Wood voices the main character so I, it's one of those things that I feel like I would really like I've just never found the time to sit down and watch it whereas this next show um I am unashamed to admit I'm a huge 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 fan of I have seen so 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 many different times um, the Owl House, or specifically the character I'm drawing from the show, is Hunter. Um, now, where to begin? <laughs> this show is such a lovely, lovely breath of fresh air to the world of cartoons. Um, for a while, especially after Gravity Falls ended, it's very lost for good shows to sort of get into, especially ones that I would enjoy. And then along came the Owl House, 
uh, wacky sort of mystic adventure about a normal human girl who finds her way into this world of magic and it's such a lovely lovely story i also absolutely adore the lgbt representation in the show it's very rare for characters especially on kids shows to be depicted as part of the lgbtq community so to have someone like amity someone like luz um it is just truly truly lovely so yeah love the show um hunter as well i love hunter um, I find his whole story to be really cute and also character design wise he's a really really fun character to just draw um, and now we are on to our boys Solangelo also known as Will Solis and Nico D'Angelo uh, where to begin about this I have recently been drawing a lot of Percy Jackson fan art on my Instagram um, not for any reason just I I've always loved the show, to be honest. Not the show. The, recently, there's been a show. Uh, I always loved the books. Uh, Rick Royden has been such a huge inspiration to me throughout my entire childhood. Um, and I've always just adored this idea of this supernatural world living amongst our own and us being none the wiser to it. I think that's such a beautiful sort of allegory for a lot of different things uh, but it's also just a really cool story concept especially for kids i think teaching kids about the marvels of greek mythology as well is just so cool and yeah i love these characters i am so so happy that <laughs> the brain that nico and will became a canon thing within the books um because nico deserves it okay he deserves happiness my little name twin uh, he's gone through so much in the books um, so yeah I need to draw them more I've started to draw a lot of Percy Jackson stuff on my Instagram which thank you all for supporting that it's been really lovely um, and I just I need to draw them more they're just really cute uh, again I'm using my Poscas just to do this little uh, brown borders um, and now we are on to my boy butters my sweet son um south park now south park's another show um like with percy jackson or <laughs> another franchise i should say percy jackson has only recently become a tv show um it's another kind of universe i've wanted to kind of draw for a while um i was one of those kids who always wanted to your things on Instagram uh, but never had the kind of courage to post them and now being a sad 23 year old uh, you know, I'm still in that kind of oh, this is really cool I kind of want to draw it but you know I don't know I did never get around to actually sitting down and drawing and posting which I need to work on that's a note for the future now we are on to tough avatar what to say about avatar um the live action what the heck happened there um, they can't do an avatar live action right can they oh apologies if you did like the new netflix live action tv show i it didn't i don't know it just didn't have the same magic in it that i felt the animated original show had um that show was my childhood it introduced me to such a beautiful but also scary also magical world um that is these characters having these amazing abilities amongst these unusual creatures it was one of those shows where as a kid you kind of felt transported into the world um and i really i just really enjoyed it so it was really sad that it hasn't really gotten the sort of i guess I don't want to say the respect because I feel like that kind of is a bit disrespectful and mean to people who worked really hard on the show but it's really sad that it hasn't gotten the adaptation I feel like it deserves um, because it does deserve a really really cool adaptation um, but yeah that's just one of those things that I'm like oh I wish we got something but at the same time I'm also aware that it's okay for things to be how they are I don't think some some franchises need a sequel or a reboot or reimagining i think the original is just amazing as it is and we as people should just make some new original things instead of rehashing the same old same old thing um, 
but yeah weird little philosophical, philosophical nico there <laughs> um now i'm adding my final little um i guess inking marking doodling moments to the page and um, before i get onto my messy scrapbooking bit um for this kind of inking process i'm using a mix of my uni ball pens and my fountain pens um i've been really into using fountain pens to sketch recently there's an artist i really like on instagram called bvz um they make the wonderful adventures of connor i think that's the comic name um and they sketch a lot in their sketchbook with fountain pens which is insanely cool to me i don't know how someone has the talent to just sketch with pen i'm a prolific eraser um <laughs> so i've been trying to practice with my fountain pen and yeah this is me trying and failing to practice <laughs> it looks cool i'm not lying it's gonna look cool hello welcome back um, I hope you enjoyed the little speed draw, speed paint, whatever you want to call this sort of drawing of the spread. Um, one day I would absolutely love to do like a live stream, like a little draw along with my live stream. So do let me know down below if you're interested in that. But before I end off this video, I do really want to add some final decorations to this page. Um, I often get a lot of questions, especially on Instagram, of how and what I add to pages. Um, usually, if it's a full spread like this, I don't... Hello, ruler. <laughs> that just like blew out at me. Um, usually, if it's um, quite a full spread like this, I don't add much. Um, but I do like to add a few things here and there. Um, so, let's see. Hello, it's me, you boy, back for the final time. This time to talk about stationery. Um, I love, love, love to kind of junk journal a lot for my sketchbook pages. I think I've mentioned that before. Um, I find it really peaceful to just kind of sit and add various bits and pieces to my spreads. It's also a really nice way of just tying it all together and make this kind of amalgamation of different illustrations kind of this one big finished piece of sorts. Um, I know that a lot of people when they sketchbook have a more loose way of doing it where they just kind of sketch and then turn the page and sketch some more but for me I've always really liked having these colourful images to look at and have these completed character designs. Um, I know that's not the best way of keeping a sketchbook but it's my way of keeping a sketchbook and it's a way I really enjoy and really like and I think as long as you're finding joy in what you're doing that's all that matters um there's no need to make a page look pretty but if you like making it look pretty you make it look pretty <laughs> don't let anybody tell you that you're wasting your time or that sketchbooks aren't how you want them to look because they are um now a lot of the supplies you'll see me use especially in this video they're kind of this weird mix of different stickers and different washi tapes from different places um the main place i think i got a lot of this stuff from is stationery pal which is a really cool affordable site you can get a lot of stationery from it's small business which also is super nice and super cool um but also i get a lot of my supplies from kind of scrounging around <laughs> different shops um going head first into any stationery section of any different shop and kind of just buying an insane amount of stuff um, i have a problem please help uh, my bank account is crying um but yeah i like going on little hunts for new bits of stationery so no harm no foul um i'm just rubbing my last little details i have no order when i'm doing this by the way i'm just kind of stopping fun and seeing what works and yeah so this is it this is the spread thank you guys so so much for hanging out with me as i did it um if you did end up getting your own sketchbook out and drawing along with me 
send me pics on Instagram. I would absolutely love, love, love to see some of your art. And yeah, thank you so much. Um, if you like the video, please do leave a like down below. It really does help out my channel. And do subscribe if you're new. I would love to have you a part of my lovely little community here on YouTube. Also do follow me on Instagram. I am way, way, way more um, active on there. And I would, again, love to have you. Um, but yeah, I think that's everything I need to say. Thank you again to Artify for sending me those brushes and I will try link everyone, <laughs> everyone, I'll try link all the supplies I use down in the description um, and I'll try not to forget them. But yeah, thank you again and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.